Okay, we are at 22812 24th South. We are in a plumbing room here in the basement. So all of our plumbing is coming to this point. This is our roof stack vent. We have that opened up and we're going to drop down this cast iron roof stack vent. Not a roof stack vent, but a vent. And here we run into our water that is running. And so we are connected to our waistline here at about two and a half feet. We are following our water. Looks like we've got a connection point here at four feet. Where another line comes in. And this is all cast iron that we're looking at. There's another connection point here at six feet. So here is a transition of pipe at 15 feet. We are transitioning from cast iron to what looks like ABS block plastic and then it reconnects here back into the cast iron at 17 feet. So it's a little two foot section. In essence, what we're doing is we are running south across the back of the garage. And then here at the end of the garage, we're going to make a turn. We're also going to transition from cast iron to concrete tile to clay tile. So that's just a one, two, three. Here at about 25 feet. So now we're at the south end of the house. Let's move forward. Let's get lucky. There we got it. And it just keeps moving. And now we're heading a little bit downhill along the side of the driveway. This is all clay tile waste lines. The male female connection point here at the end of each pipe. Six footers? No, uh, clay tile can be anywhere from five, sometimes I've seen them two, but five foot is about common. So here we're at 40. And we're at about 45. And there it is. Oh, okay. So, yeah, about every five feet. These are pretty common. They look in great shape. No, not seeing any root intrusions at the male female connection points. That's a little root intrusion there. Say about, root or lead, yeah. That's root. Yeah. That's root. Um, not a concern because it's not blocking. It's not blocking the flow of, flow of our waistline. And here we're dropping. Oh, down to the main. Yeah, well, we're down to the main, but yeah. this is more. This is a point, if I can get a good visual on it, actually I can't, but this is a visual on a drop <coughs> in the waistline. So here at 79 feet, we're going to go vertical, we're going to drop downhill, down to the level. There's the main one. Or no, not that's yet. another bit. Not yet. This is the base. So here's the base, and here we are transitioning. In medium, 88 feet. Looks like an old waistline. And that's concrete. That's every two feet is a male and female. And you're at 98, almost 100 feet. Oh yeah, we'll get there.
there she is. They're right at about 114 feet. We see the rest of Des Moines flowing by. And <laughs> what we're going to do is, is <coughs> we're going to pause our camera and we're going to turn off our water. Okay, we are 114 feet out. We are looking at the Des Moines waste lines flowing by. And what we're going to do now is retract our camera and take a good look at everything as we come back with the water turned off. So, here we go. Spider webs. Yeah, cobwebs. Always. Always know you're getting close to the city sewer when you start seeing all the cobwebs. That's impressive you to push that far. Oh man, I've gone 200 feet very commonly on some on some properties. But it's but predominantly it's anywhere from you know um, 60 to 135 feet. Those are pretty common. And a little counter on the side here keeps track of your no, distance. No, it's in the, it's it, in the head it, itself. It's in the it's in the machine head oh. itself. Yeah. These are our concrete tile, two foot sections. They're all clear. We only had one small root intrusion. Here's a transition point from clay tile to concrete tile. You would think they would have just kept it all the same. Uh, this is builder, and that's city. That's the difference. Furthermore, get kind of deep. Oh, that's, that's what I do for a living. I install oh, sewer, sewer mains and septic. Oh, wow. There's where that vertical drop is at mm -hmm. about 70, 78 or so feet. We went into a vertical drop. We used to do a lot of work for Lake Haven Sewer District, and we go down and dig up these big root balls. On here's the, uh, here's our small root yeah. intrusion, about 69 feet. Um, and we, we used to pull them out six, eight feet long. Oh yeah. You know, the willows. Oh, oh yeah. Gee. Oh yeah. Willows are hell. Yeah. Willows and bamboo. Ten man. feet deep. Yeah. They will find water. Here's about where we're going to make a turn, and we're going to come back to the cast iron. Right here. At about, I want to say it was 30 feet or so. 30 right now. There, there it is. is. That looks like a clean out. Yep. That's right. There's there a clean out. Clean out there right there at 30 feet. We'll snap a photo of that. I didn't see it going out. So there is an exterior clean out available. And here's our turns. And we try to label them as RV dumps as a selling point. Right, right. <laughs> and this is our cast iron line. Here's where our little repair, repair patch is. is. Right here, little two foot section, 18 to 16 or so. And as we say in the, uh, what was, was that the old line, away we go. Yeah. <laughs> and away we go. So 
coming back up to our access point. So everything's in good shape. Get to let go of my, my camera. Shut this all down. Yeah, I mean, the, 